So now that the shutdown is here, what does it mean for you? Who's going to feel the impact most? As you all know, both Mauricio and I work for the federal government. So what does that mean for us financially? It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is storming. Yep, we're going into storm mode. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. That way you can find out what happens while we're in storm mode and a few tips in case you ever have to go into storm mode. So here in the United States, we have a full on government shutdown. Now, hopefully by the time you're watching this, it has all been fixed and things are back to normal. But when I am recording this video, we are in full government shutdown. But until it does get fixed, Mauricio and I are in full on storm mode. So oh, I bet you're wondering to yourself, what is storm mode exactly? Maybe you've done it, maybe you haven't, maybe you don't even know what I'm talking about. But let me explain. Storm mode is essentially when you don't spend a single cent outside of what is absolutely necessary because you see a big financial event coming that is going to have a significant impact on your finances. When I say absolutely necessary, I mean absolutely necessary. Gone is the online expense money. Gone is blow money. Gone is pretty much everything that's not mandatory. Like Molino's daycare, that'll still be in there because I can't not pay that bill. All that extra money, what do we do with it? We pile it and pile it and pile it in a savings account and it just sits there and it's there in case we need it, but we don't touch it, not even a little bit. And then once the storm is cleared, then you take that pile of money and bam, put it all to debt. So I bet the next thing you're wondering is how you know when you're in storm mode. It's actually pretty easy. You know you're in storm mode when you find yourself thinking, how am I going to pay the bills if insert random event here happens? Or I have to come up with X amount in X number of days or months so I can pay this very large expense. That's storm mode. And no, going on a shopping vendor does not count. And saving for a trip to Hawaii, that's not storm mode. That's something you should have planned for long, long, long in advance. You go into storm mode for surprises, things that you haven't planned for. Some simple examples of storm mode would be a major illness that impacts your ability to earn income, a job loss, a death in the family, a sudden unexpected move, maybe even a pregnancy if you're high risk or your insurance isn't phenomenal. Or some people actually consider any pregnancy as a, a time to go into storm mode. But essentially it's something that could impact your ability to pay your bills over time. So why would the government shutdown affect us at all? Well, as I mentioned before, both Mauricio and I work for the federal government, so our jobs are directly impacted. As you are watching this, I am actually right now, as we speak, probably finding out if I'm going to be working during this government shutdown or I'm going to be sent home. Unless you're watching this at 5 a.m. and then I'm still putting on my makeup, getting ready for work. There are two issues with this. The first issue is even if I work during this period, I will likely have my paycheck delayed. And it is entirely possible that I won't get paid for the amount of time I work during this period until well after the government shutdown is finished. And then on top of that, when you do get paid, you get one giant paycheck and they take out an, an exorbitant amount of money in taxes, which always screws everything up. So we have to be able to survive until we get our next paycheck. The second and far scarier issue is what happens if I get sent home? If I get sent home, I may or may not get a paycheck for the entire time that I am sent home. And on a side note, Mauricio, who's back here, has already been told that he is to report to work and he will be working through this. So we do not have to worry about him with the exception of maybe a delayed paycheck. So before we go into full freak out mode, let's actually talk reality. I'm in federal law enforcement, as you all know. I'm also in management. And 
the likelihood of me getting sent home is fairly low. It could happen, but it's low. So really the only major thing we would have to worry about is how delayed my paycheck is. And so in reality, remember Mauricio and I are one full month of earning ahead. So what we earn this month goes to pay next month's bills. And we have already received over half of our paychecks for February. So February bills are pretty much covered. So really we wouldn't be in financial distress at all, even remotely until probably around mid-March. And if we're in storm mode, we can last a long time because we're not gonna pay any extra money to debt and our debt payments every month are high. So we have a lot of extra money to play with right now. So we will be fine through this. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and go into full store mode. Only the basics, minimum payments to debt, but the minimums are gonna be the minimums that we have set, not what the bank says that we owe. But what I will tell you is that if I get sent home, this is gonna change. But we will not be doing anything fun no blow money, no online expenses, and we're gonna be eating what's in the fridge. Once the storm is over and we have gotten paid for all of the time that we worked or didn't work or whatever is resolved is resolved, then we're gonna take whatever we have left in our pile and put it to debt. And who knows, maybe by late February, early March, we will have actually paid way more to debt than we planned because we went into storm mode. Who knows, we'll see. So maybe it won't be such a bad thing. Oh. And if I'm sent home, you can go ahead and expect a video uploaded every single day because I'm gonna be bored. If you weren't new to my channel, make sure you click on the big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.